dark patches here we can see as blood vessels. Like something Dr. McCoy might have used in Star Trek, this new infrared probe can detect what the naked eye cannot see. It fires a beam of light through the skin, giving doctors a view of tissues two millimeters below the surface, deep enough to spot the sinister outline of cancer. Tests at Guy's Hospital in London show it helps to make an earlier, more accurate diagnosis and improve treatment. Carol Letherby has skin cancer that has begun to spread. She says the probe would have made her diagnosis much more straightforward. I think it's brilliant because melanoma is usually like an iceberg. There's more underneath than there is on top. So it will save all the, all the um, painful biopsies and the dressings and probably in the long run save money. Each year at least 100,000 people in the UK get skin cancer. More than 10,000 of those develop the most dangerous form, malignant melanoma. 2,000 of them die. Sunbeds are pushing those figures still higher, underlining the need for a scanner that allows doctors to map how far a cancer has spread and make sure they remove it all while preserving as much normal skin as possible. The balance is always to try and take just enough tissue but not too much when one's trying to excise a skin cancer. So this uh, technology will hopefully provide a non-invasive way of making that process far more accurate uh, beyond what one can just see with the naked eye. Two millimeters under, under the skin. Scientists now hope to combine the infrared scanner with a traditional camera so doctors could see in detail above and below the surface of the skin. Many more patients should then get the best chance of effective treatment. Thomas Moore, Sky News.